You know, don't you? About me and Ryan. We were in a really bad place, Greenlee. We just needed someone to lean on. <laughs> you did a hell of a lot more than cry on each other's shoulder. Well, nothing made sense anymore. I mean, you were gone. The grief, it just took over us. We had to go to Connecticut to identify your body. And when we got to the morgue, I wouldn't let Ryan lift that sheet. I wish I had now. But I didn't want his last memory of you to be decomposing on a table in a morgue. Having sex was a much better way to honor my memory. We were in pain. We were trying to numb it. We were trying to get rid of it. I know that sounds stupid. That, that doesn't justify anything, but that's the truth. We were both so devastated after losing you. I mean, even trying to imagine life without you, we couldn't. Nothing was the same for any of us after the accident. Why? What really happened that night? If that probation officer is going to send me to jail, I wish he would just get it over with. What the hell is he waiting for anyway? I told you. He just needs some time to reevaluate your case. It's not necessarily a bad thing. No, you heard what he said, man. The guy is planning on making an example out of me. Damon, it's not too late, okay? There is still a chance, albeit a small one, that he could cut you a break. So in the meantime, I'm just supposed to sit here and try not to move? My freaking arm will be healed by the time he makes up his mind. How is it? It hurts like hell, man. I couldn't sleep at all last night. They barely gave me anything for the pain. All right, okay. Do you just sit tight? I'm gonna see what Angela can do. How's the patient? Oh, uh, he's got that look on his face. I don't know if I can trust him as far as I can throw him. Anyway. Ah! I can barely feel a pulse. He's going to shock. The man needs help now! Would you do something? The man is his doctor. Let him help. You heard the chief. Let the defendant go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me.